crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Just misses with the jet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Corral <laughs> gets caught with that punch. Flush right hand is true. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Good stick. Ball oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Good punch, Lance. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Nice high kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice hook, Lance. Right hand punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Swing and a big miss by Choi. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize to hit him, He's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice punch by Burrell. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red. The blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. Stop, stop, stop. 
A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. Second round here. Oh! That was a jab! Oh, straight right! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He loaded up on that right hand too. Oh man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. He throw that right punch right down the pipe. It's unreal. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Remain in the round. Let's get some offense. Let's get oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful one. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Over and over. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Forward, 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 forward. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. Oh, that's a seminal blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And just misses with that big right hand. Continuing to work the body to great effect. 60 seconds. Finish strong, baby. Finish strong. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no 
idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh! So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing the time, just looking to recover. Ten seconds. What a fight so far. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've gotta be celebrating. They've gotta be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Unable to connect with the rep. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now. Whoa! He might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Straight right is there. Big kick land. Joy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Pretty significant welt to the left side. All right, he engages in a single pull tie here. Back and forth we go! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. And landed some nasty strikes. Oh! That kick blocked by Choi. Can't take many of those. You better check. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. I need you to Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet. 
Cage in a single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like.